Are you serious? Are you serious? Did Dennis Rodman get this kid, this college kid, out of a hard labor prison, serving 15 years in prison in North Korea? What? It's possible. It's matter of fact, it's probable. Dennis Rodman, who just arrived in North Korea a few hours ago, I think he got in there yesterday, maybe. They're on a different time zone. He's been there. He, this, you know, he visited Kim Jong Un or Kim Jong Un or Kim Jong Doom or Kim Jong Boom. He visited him four years ago and played a little basketball, brought a team with him, and uh, and all that. Well, Dennis Rodman was asked to come back, so Dennis went back. He's in North Korea meeting with Kim Jong Un. Now, while he's there, just a few hours after he's there, this kid has been released. Otto Warmbier, Otto Warmbier, who was a, who's a college student who is serving 15-year prison term for with hard labor for allegedly an anti uh, anti state attacks against the North Korean government, according to Secretary of State Rex Tillerson. Now, the U.S. announcement came as former NBA player Dennis Rodman is paying a return visit to North Korea. At the direction of the president, the Department of State has secured the release of Otto Warmbier from North Korea, Tillerson said in a statement. Mr. Warmbier is, a, is en route to the United States where he will be reunited with his family. This is unbelievable. The Washington Post are saying that Warmbier's parents reported he had been medically evacuated from North Korea in a coma and was due to arrive home in Cincinnati tonight. The report said he had been in a coma for more than a year since shortly after his last public appearance in North Korea in March. Are you serious? This is horrible. So he gets arrested. They sentence him to 15 years in prison. He's a, he's a healthy college student. And then we understand he's in a coma all of a sudden. So what, did they beat him to death? We don't know. He's in a coma, been in a coma for a year. He's been released. They're flying him out of there back to Cincinnati. Meanwhile, that happens as Dennis Rodman, first Dennis Rodman arrives, and then this happens. Now, uh, Rex Tillerson is not saying, he's offering no details of how the deal was made, nor is he mentioning Dennis Rodman, the former NBA All-Star, former five-time world champion, Chicago Bulls. Uh, he was a two-time world champion with the Detroit Pistons, three-time world champion with Chicago Bulls, played with Michael Jordan during the 90s. You may remember he was part of the Bad Boys and all that. We, we know he's a character. We know he's a character. We also know he was also a character on Celebrity Apprentice with Donald Trump. Now, he didn't win. Trump fired him at some point during the show. But it's possible. Is it possible that a secret deal was done, that Trump used uh, Dennis Rodman to go in there quietly? Shh, don't make a big media deal. Don't get all the people. Just go in there quietly. Talk to Kim Jong-un. Get that kid out of here. Let's, let's and, and you go ahead and visit and see what else we can do. Because there's several other U.S. citizens. There's three other. Uh, but Tillerson did go on to say, the statement by Tillerson, which was later read this morning in a congressional hearing, offered no other details about Rodman's visit. But he noted that the State Department is continuing to have discussions with North Korea about releasing the other three American citizens who are jailed there. That's possible that it is Dennis Rodman and his basketball diplomacy. He is, he, it is very possible that he is the one that is talking on behalf of, of, this, of the United States government uh, quietly in back channels uh, with North Korea. So let's just wait and see. Let's pray if he is, you know. And again, Rodman's not being mentioned at all by the Secretary of State or the State Department because they're not going to tell you. If they say that, people will start going off on President Trump and they'll start hating on Trump for, for using Rodman. So it's just best to not even say it. If the president is, again, that's a big if, but I have a high 
because of the fact that Rodman was once on the Celebrity Apprentice and, is, and knows Donald Trump very well. I think it's very, and the fact that Dennis Rodman had already been there once, okay, four years ago. I think, in, and nobody knew that Rodman was going. All of a sudden, he's just there. It's very possible that he was sent in to help uh, start the dialogue with Kim Jong-un. So let's wait and see how this all plays out. One, we got good news as this young man is coming out of there. Bad news that he's been laying in a coma in North Korea for over a year. What happened to him? Just pray for him and his family and pray for the other three innocent Americans that are rotting in North Korea. And pray for the country of North Korea who are under this oppression of this madman, Kim Jong-un. I'll be back with more. Don't miss today's live broadcast. We might get more information about this even. Plus, Jeff Sessions is going to be testifying later today. We'll try to get some more info on that. A whole lot of stuff to cover. You won't believe all the stuff's going on. I'll see you at 12 noon Eastern, my website at paulbegleyprophecy.com. That's www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. Yes, the magazine is out. Some of you, I didn't tell anybody on YouTube, but yes, the spring magazine is out. Heidi put it together, 24 pages. Very, very powerful. A lot of full update on the Salvation Station as well. As a matter of fact, the carpet got laid here yesterday. It is absolutely spectacular. And the, uh, uh, the internet guys just come in and put in our brand new uh, internet system so that we can broadcast simultaneously and even more broadcast than we are. All, all the baptisms, uh, not all of them, there's 30 baptisms on one page from Dallas, Texas that we did, but actually 153 were baptized. Uh, this is a lot of prophetic insight in here, a lot of good articles, a lot of blanket prayer testimonies. If you want to get our magazine, uh, all you got to do, if, if you make a donation of $20 or more to the ministry for any reason, that magazine will get sent back to you as long as you put your address in the PayPal account, okay? Because people, so you, there's, you don't have, it's, it, it's not, there's nowhere to go get it. It just, if you make a donation, it's coming to you, all right? As long as the magazines last. God bless you. We'll see you today at 12 noon. Pray for uh, Dennis Rodman and pray for all the rest of these Americans. Good news that one's getting out, one man. God bless. Are you serious? <laughs>